Next few hours, if you're out walking the dog, it looks beautiful. We do have some clouds in play. We will bring rain chances in, but it looks like the rain is still a couple hours off for greater Cleveland. Temperatures are going to dip down to about 69, 70 degrees as we hit the midnight hour. Notice what's happening on radar. As soon as my name gets out of there, come on. There it goes. All right, now we can talk. Uh, we have some scattered rain showers and now thunderstorms that are beginning to develop off to the farther south, southern areas uh, down around Columbus and Dayton and Springfield and whatnot. This is all going to obviously move into portions of Richland and Ashland County first. So a heads up for the folks in Loudonville. If you've got friends, family camping down at Loudonville now, maybe they've been taking a canoe trip or a float uh, in the Mohican. Make sure they know that that rain is on the way. Also, Richland County, uh, not only Shelby and Ontario, Ontario, but also Mansfield uh, getting in on that action. All of that is just the leading edge of a bigger swath of rain that is to the west. Now, it's interesting to know here the trajectory that this rain is taking. I think that's a really important part of our forecast for tonight. A lot of the energy, even though this whole, you know, chunk of rain is moving northeast. Notice how a lot of the energy kind of stays focused right here into central portions of Indiana and basically along I-70 over toward Columbus. That push will continue tonight and it will probably mean heavier rain for areas south of Cleveland rather than greater Cleveland over toward Sandusky. So that's push of rain number one. Push of rain number two will come later in the day tomorrow with a cold front that's going to be passing through. So we're going to jump right in on your National Design our hour by hour forecast. Stop the clock at 1 a.m. and there is that big batch of rain that is moving in. We will have periods of heavy rain possible tonight, especially in those southern areas if we get some thunderstorms. Hard to nail down how much because the thunderstorms can be very efficient rain producers and oftentimes they overperform forecast modeling. So you wring that rain out, you get a few extra hundredths of an inch and that can really make a big difference. But you can see the general idea here that we have that potential for some heavy rain producing storms to continue tonight, even into the early morning. Note how farther north and west, not as much, but farther southeast, we do have that rain that is coming down. That's going to continue over toward the Berg too. By 8 a.m., things starting to clear out as far as that first round of rain goes, but now we're dealing with the scattered showers and the cold front that's going to be passing through. That will probably mean pop-up showers for us in the afternoon and the evening hours. Then it looks like things should really start to fade off as we head into Thursday night. Now, can't really stop there, right? We got to talk about what's coming for the weekend and into early next week. So tomorrow's storm system, out to the east coast by tomorrow night. That's good news. We have another storm system that will be swinging in for Friday, bringing us rain chances late. Now I want you to watch this because Friday's Saturday's rain setup is very similar to what's going on for Monday too. We have rain that starts Friday night, continues into the early part of the day on Saturday, then backs off. Then we get some pop up showers later in the day on Saturday. That's great news for anybody who has Saturday afternoon plans. By Monday, though, we have a much stronger system that is moving in, and that looks like it will not only create rain for us, it will likely bring us a possibility of strong to severe storms. We'll deal with that during the day on Monday and then some scattered showers possible Monday night. Union Home Mortgage forecast. Look at the heat that comes in with that uh, frontal boundary on Saturday with thunderstorms around. We'll be dropping back in toward the 80 degree mark to start next week. We are keeping an eye on Monday. Hopefully that is not going to fare the way uh, it looks like things could be. But overall, not a heat inducing forecast, not a big cool down coming our way. We're kind of towing the line with that average high temperature, which is in the low 80s this time of the year. All right, we'll take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Betsy. Thanks. Yep.